in three hours, baby. Free whole hours. That's right. The uh, bottom does not lie. We have an ultra extended stream today for the sake of it being a 10th episode special. Um, I'm going to turn my TV down because it's far too loud right now. But uh, now that all of that's been done, I'm going to mount this and we're going to continue on in hopefully what will be the right direction. Now that I've checked the map, I'm certain that it shall be. Indeed. But yes, one thing I do think is worth mentioning is that whilst the stream today is going to be three hours long to celebrate the whole extension and everything of ten episodes, um, episodes from here on out are going to be two hours long just so that I can finish this game at a whole lot more quicker pace because taking breaks every hour and a half for me is not the greatest way to play this game. I prefer playing games with much larger chunks than that, so that was my aim to say the least. I mean, like Spider-Man. I've done about four or five six hour chunks off and I've really enjoyed Spider-Man it's been a very fun mind you maybe not four or five six hour chunks but certain around that matter mind you because it is a long and lengthy game but that's mostly because I've focused more on the collectibles than the missions to be completely honest but hey that's because I like my collectibles in case you couldn't tell so already I'm like why would I hunt 100% all of the Skarner games of the wise right Yes, I've hurt 100% to every single one. Not Nightmare Mode though. Nightmare Mode for certain games is really hard to 100%. Trap Team in particular is very difficult because you need to beat a level without swapping out your Skarner and that's very difficult on Nightmare Mode. But yeah, let's be continuing on. Hopefully I haven't forgotten too many for controls since I last played because it has been a fair while. But yeah, we do have a side quest uh, to finish right here. So that is what we are finishing. And then I believe after that we can move on to some more main quests. But I'm going to assume that from here on out our mount is not going to be of much use uh, within the settlement. But we will see to say the least. Yeah, I definitely saw that one coming, but luckily this is what we got the sprint button for. And there's also a merchant around here somewhere, I definitely want to go and uh, speak to that one. Here he is. How are you doing, Mr. Merchant Person? So, uh, we have... Oh, wow, we have a lot, and I mean a lot of shards. So let's see what weapons we can buy right here. Um, the Blast Sling? Interesting, that. Uh, Shadow Hunter Bow, yes please, we will happily buy you, and we will equip you too, uh, to the bottom for now. So yes, we got ourselves a brand new weapon, we also want to start selling some, uh, resources, which we have, like, multiple ones of, because I don't find there being much use of having more than one collectible or something. Plus that can leave room for other collectibles later on. So we'll sell 45 of those for now, that seems about right. We'll sell one of these too. And then we'll be selling multiple of these, about 30. Well, 29. 29 will do just because I can't be asked to press right on the D-pad anymore. Now these, we're just going to sell all of these. They're very easy to get our hands on. Same with chilled water and everything. In fact, we've got even more chilled water here. Plenty of chilled water to say the least. I love the way how we have so many shards as is, and now I'm getting even more shards, because that's just how I roll. I like me to be shards, it's because of money, and I like money, so why the heck would I not like shards, right? Okay, sell so one of those, sell another one of those. Okay, there we go. That'll do for selling for now, because now we have so many shards and no idea what to do with any of them. So yeah, let's see what kind of uh, rarer um, outfits we can get. Oh, we can get the very bottom one. Let's uh, get that very rare one. wonder how that's going to look. I think it's looking cool, personally. Or at least I think it's looking cool, personally. Okay, um... So, these basically just look like things that we can use to, um, 
get rid of any sort of effects we have on us like for freeze potion or shot potion and stuff like that we don't have much resources for that but as i said before resources are kind of quite easy to gather so we're not in any rush to be buying uh, those per se at least not yet and then there's also plenty of uh, ammo along the way but again it's all stuff which we can get along the course of the game so there's no need to necessarily be um, going out of our way to purchase such things yes we are at level 29 which means that hopefully we can reach level 30 no problem um, in the remainder of the stream that is left which is going to be <laughs> a lot of the stream to say the least so yeah maybe we might actually get somewhere in this game maybe we might beat this game I doubt it but we might <laughs> Because, yeah, this game's like, what, 30 hours long? And we're nowhere near the 30 hour mark just yet. Yeah, luckily we are slowly but surely approaching on our current destination. But hey, it's good the destination. It's more important is the journey. Mm, nah, there's always a destination, man. Whoever said the journey is most important, just ignore them entirely. They are completely wrong. I mean, sure, it's a very moral and ethical thing to think. But they're still wrong. <laughs> so yeah, this is whom we are looking for. This weird guy with the spectacle thing, Vilgun, or whatever his name was. Yeah, Vilgun. So close to Vilgax and everything. That really reminds me of Ben 10 because there's actually a road uh, named Tennyson Road near me. And so that reminds me of Ben 10 too. So many things to remind me of that, you could say. The team machines. It's hard to explain. But there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Cards of silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. Haha, <laughs> yo. Okay, so, um, we got the Grave Horde next. We got oh, a whole load of experience from that, so that's useful to say the least. But yeah, let's be heading to our new current destination, which uh, sees us go into a far off land, like, uh, very far to say the least. And so that quest at hand is indeed the Grave Horde, our main quest. Um, is there anywhere that's closer at the moment? Open activities, activate quest, show them a map. That's on our way there, so we may as well go for the bandits on our way. But, um, of course, first things first, we're going to need our mount. If we even have our mount still. Of course we do not, why would we? So yeah, we're going to have to find a mount on the way back down again, as always. Yay. But yeah, let's be heading on our merry way. Hopefully having a machine um, sight, well, in sight. Or in our up and coming site, I would even say. Because yes, machines are so much more convenient when it comes to actually travelling around the map. And since that's exactly what we need to do, um, it'll be very good to get one right now. The who boy am I looking forward to playing this game in a three hour chunk? Man, this is this is enjoyable to say the least, even if it is running and running for more than half of the game. <laughs> like seriously, half of the game is this. Just running, 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 running a lot. Run, run, run. Oh, so we can continue this way. I see, I see indeed. I see using my eyes, although most of the times I don't use my eyes. Just my mouth more than my eyes, one would say. The one thing I do use more than my eyes is my, uh, my stomach. <laughs> Basically, I'm saying I eat a lot. Sometimes I, at uh, buffets, grab so much that I uh, bite off more than I can chew, per se. So I uh, wind up getting bigger plates than I can finish. But hey, if you can eat it, you can eat it. And if you can eat most of it, you can eat most of it, right? As long as you're not getting huge chunks of plates and not wasting 75% of them. Like, 75%? That is unacceptable. What are you doing with your stomach? Not even your life, just your stomach. But yeah, let's be continuing on for Bandit Camp 2 Teeth. 
Um, I'm not sure what, how much of a reward is going to be uh, earned from this, but there always is small ones, and no matter how small of a reward, we shall go for it, because slowly but surely, we are going to beat as much of this game as I um, please. Maybe even we'll get the DLC later on, I shall think about it. Is that a machine? Oh, yes, it is a machine. Hey, don't mind me, fellas, I'm just uh, doing nothing right here. That's it, come over here. Can I still corrupt you if you know I'm here? Yes, I can. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Now let's take our mount and get out of here. So yeah, just like that, we can actually start making good ground now. And even better yet is when we get to a point where we can start killing some bandits. Oh yeah. So we are on direct sight, but like most things, I don't care, so... We're just gonna continue charging through, it's not like we don't exactly have the speed to escape these things, because we quite clearly do, just saying. Are those good guys or bad guys? I don't even know. I'm gonna be wary though. They seem like good guys, or were they? I don't know, they sure seem like neutral guys for the moment being. So we shall spare them, one would say, and by one I mean me. But yeah, we're going to continue over these bridges right here because uh, my mounts aren't too great with the swimming. Our base stuff are really good at swimming, but hey, that's because it's machinery and electronics and as we all know electronics and water most of the time do not mix so yeah let's keep things going here keep things moving forward or you know whichever direction this is that we're moving okay this is the part where the path just starts to split slightly from uh the direction that we need to be going in for the main quest, but we're not too worried about that right now. Oh, that hurt like a lot. But hey, we killed it. That's cool, as always. Oh boy, okay, which one's which? Which one's my mount and which one's all the other things? There we go, we got that one. Oh, and we got this one too, apparently. Okay, got to try and start hitting his weakness now. Nice, I got it, and I got it again. Trust me guys, we're about to finish this guy off, or at least that's going to be our attempt, mind you. There we go, we got him. Sweet, exactly what we needed. Oh wow, there's so many things that we can do with this. Can we craft some of these? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, let's see how these arrows go. Ooh, I'm liking these arrows. Yeah, I think uh, what we paid this weapon is totally worth it. Oh, we can't crack no more of those without chill water. My bad, probably should have sold as much chill water as I did, but as I said before, it's not exactly the hardest thing to come across, so it will do. Wait, why am I icing them up when I'm pretty sure fire is their weakness? Oh, we can't crack any of those either. Okay, sweet. Nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, that so should have been a hit, but never mind. Okay, gotta be careful with these ice arrows though. I don't want to waste them to save at least metal shards. Yes, please. Uh, let's see what you have to offer. Nice. Nice of you there, Mr. Trampler. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. I got too close, my friend. Too close, dude. There we go, that's another kill right now. I will always take those, like always. Why would I never take them, right? And then there's some more uh, over here. Rabbit? We accidentally killed a rabbit in the mix? Or one, one something killed a rabbit and a fox. That ain't no fantastic fox, considering it's uh, not much of anything anymore. Okay, so we're still at the uh, broadhead site. And we're still gonna kill that uh, thing right now. Let's just stick to thing right now, that'll do, right? Oh boy, hiya you. 
How are you today? Nice, okay. Searching, searching, searching. Is that something I can kill right there? No, it wasn't, it was just a rock. A rock I can't kill, a rock has no soul. But yes, my mouse is very much gone right now, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. Oh, how are you? Hiya. How are you doing, little buddy? Well, you're gonna be nobody anymore. Although you, 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 were, you were never really little to begin with, but still, nobody, you are of mine. Buddies don't try to kill each other. Oh, what a shot, boy! Yeah, that shot was totally intentional the whole time. No accidents occur here, boys. Okay, so it seems like we're approaching upon a broadhead site, so hopefully we can get another mount right there. But I would say that was totally worth it because we got some good chunks of experience going, and not to mention we got some very useful resources on top of that, which I'll probably just sell once we get around to selling again, probably. Oh, we're back to that challenge area, aren't we? That, that was what it looks like, mind you. But at the moment, we're just going to continue on the path we need to be. Which involves some killing, yeah! But yeah, luckily this bandit uh, site does uh, seem to be approaching us quite quickly, so we will be taking down some bandits before you could say noodles. And I say that because it's reference to Kung Fu Panda 2, which I just watched before the stream, and man, is Kung Fu Panda 2 a good film. Although, noodles. I, uh, I literally just said noodles, so it is longer than you can say noodles, but, you know, it's all just an expression. Okay, up we continue to go. Good job, Aloy. Good job indeed. Okay, can we even make that jump at the moment? No. Can we go on to you and make that jump from there? Yes, we can. Good. Good on you, Aloy. Good on you. So yeah, it seems like we're back up in the mountains right here. I love the fact about how quickly it goes from a nice old tropical desert climate. Well, not tropical desert, just desert to Ice Mountain. Wait, there's another... There's another side quest where we can get uh, quite happily into that once we finish these bandits off by killing some all. As always, I thought there was an animal there which I could have gutted and uh, got all of the rewards from, but nope, there wasn't. That's unfortunate. What are you? Are you medical supplies? Nope, you're freeze rhyme root, but that will come in handy somewhere. As I said before, we'll slowly but surely build our resources back up um, after having sold them all. But that's Ridgewood. We have no use for uh, Ridgewood right now. And man, is that some uh, dangerous looking ice? I would not trust that ice if I was me, so that's why we're. Getting out of there as fast as possible. What are you? Medical, silver brush, yes please. I do like me some medical supplies, so that's why we're taking it all the more. Okay. Which direction do I need to be going in in exactly? Is it up here? Sure about to find out. Oh, it's this general area, I see. I see. Let's equip this bow uh, once again because this definitely seems to be one of the uh, better ones. Oh, hello you. Silent strike. Nice. Okay, so we do have allies uh, up here, which is pretty cool, as always. And some metal shards are also pretty cool. But yeah, cupcake guys, we're not worried about just yet. Oh boy, we're going to get away from him. See if we can uh, drop him. Can we drop him? Help me, maggots! Okay, I suppose that will do then. Okay, somehow he's still not dead yet. Now he is. Oh boy, okay, I was trying to get a headshot on that guy right there, but it just did not work. Damn it. 
This bow is good though, look at all of its instant clearing. Okay, sweet, that's good as always. Fight back, damn you all! Time for you to hurt. There you go. We actually got a headshot there, which I'm quite proud of myself for, to be honest. But yeah, we need to keep things moving before we wind up a bit dead. Death's coming for you quick. Got him. Sweet. Got him. Okay, there's someone up there as well, apparently. And I missed the headshot somehow. And again. And again. There we go, didn't miss the headshot that time, sweet. Let's be crafting some of them, some more of these arrows then. Uh, that away. Uh, medical silver brush, sweet. At least the sweet can get. There we go, got him. Drop kill! I like me a decent drop kill alright. Oh cool, and we got a sweet nice little uh, reward from all that. Rewards are very rewarding, as one would say, most notably me, because I just said it. So yeah, is there not someone that we need to speak to about this, or... Quests? Uh, not really, no. There's another bandits camp which isn't too far away, and then there's some more open activities, but apart from that, you know. Not too much we need to worry about. So I suppose now would be the perfect time to get back to the main quest. Which luckily, as I said before, isn't too far away from a quest which we just took on, and I believe this is our merchant. Nice. And there was a, uh, a side quest around here somewhere, I believe, but... I've kind of lost track of it over time, so let's just focus on the direction we need to be going, which is... what direction? Quests. Activate. Show on map. There you go. Nice. Okay, so now we're actually on the map, which direction do we need to be heading forward this way, that way, yes way? But first of all, we're getting some more resources and some more medical supplies. Might as well, right? I mean, like, why wouldn't I, right? <laughs> Especially the metal shards, because the metal shards are always useful. But yeah, now with all of that sorted, let's be heading in the direction we need to be going in. And hopefully we can find a mount along the way to speed things up a little bit, but we shall see, as always. Wait, was that another medical supply? I'm sure we're about to find out. Was it worth coming back for? Absolutely it was! Because it was medical supply, what do you know? So let's not jump down there, because I don't think that would uh, be very satisfying of us. Mostly because it would probably result in our death, so... Yeah, let's definitely avoid that, dang it! So much about avoiding death, right? And then we got long loading screens again, yay! My sincerest apologies here guys, I'm sorry that I'm bad at this game, but sometimes I cannot help being bad at this game when I am bad at this game. Like extremely much so. <laughs> okay, so we're more or less back at where he was, we didn't exactly make much ground before now did we? So yeah, let's uh, let's be heading back then. This time, let's make sure to be uh, jumping when we need to be jumping. Hopefully, I won't forget such jump buttons at that. And we will, of course, once again pick up the silver brush, which. The icon for the plant kind of blended in with the um, rest of the grass right there. Like, if it wasn't for the uh, mapped button, I would have completely missed that. Or the button mapping, you could say. Yes, I remember jump that time. Thank heavens for that. 
Careful. Sweet. Or at least that's careful enough for me. Anything up here? Now I'm actually kind of curious. Anybody home? Apart from me, that is. That's a true question, because clearly I am home. Oh, now that's just boring. Boring! No side quests and nothing. No, um, going after for people who clearly destroyed that place, because I don't think that place looks so much like that place does now uh, before. Okay, it seems like the cupcake people need help. No, select the right thing, please. Yes, that thing, thank you. There we go, you're welcome here, fellas. I'm trying to get a sweet spot right here, but I failed at that uh, kind of miserably, to say the least. You're welcome, fellas. I You're welcome. You. But now that those guys have been helped out, let's uh, continue on with the quest at hand, which means uh, us traveling in this here direction, the direction in which the map is very much pointing us towards, or at least that waypoint is, mind you. So how close are we to the next uh, machine site? Oh cool, there's broadheads coming up, so that's brilliant. Okay, is this the right direction then? Uh, kind of, somewhat. So yeah, now we can continue in this direction and we should find those broadheads to corrupt uh, in no time. In fact, there are some of them now by the looks of things. Oh! Is that a broadhead or what? No, that's a scrapper, not a broadhead. All of them are scrappers actually, so yeah, let's just continue to get through this area without trying to cause too much of a fuss. Because the broadheads still don't come up yet for quite a while. Okay, nice. Let's be uh, continuing on. And nice, we should be getting to some broadheads right soon. In fact, there is one of them as we speak. Okay, let's be sure to stay hidden then. Don't want to uh, allow the beast to become aware of our location, otherwise we won't be able to corrupt it like this. And that was somewhat good timing, which is usual, uh, unusual for me, with my uh, timing skills or lack thereof. Okay, so let's be continuing it in this general direction then, shall we? So our override tool has been recharged, but at the moment we don't really need to override much, so... Whether being charged is useful, sure, but not at this particular exact moment, nonetheless. Yeah, on to the Grave Horde main quest, or at least that seems like what the name was. And if I got the name wrong then, my bad, but it's also the same as usual when it comes to me and my uh, naming conventions for this game. Oh, You're new there. side quest. I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. Okay, let's check out our side quests then. For under equipped, uh, oh, yep, the quest has been Wait, activated, so, it believes, uh, so I believe it's you who I must King's be speaking ass. to. This is a damn miracle. I thought we were done for. You see, 
My bung brain boss gave us the wrong crate. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood instead. We fought off three waves of watchers without any decent firepower. And I wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. I'll do what I can to help. Glad Ridgewood, to great. As we all we know, Ridgewood all is uh, quite Hold useless on. to me. Oh, I was about to start doubting then whether I even uh, was doing this live for a moment. <laughs> I thought I did half an hour's gameplay without Two being arms. live, but no, Two then I looked up on my PlayStation and I'm like, oh yeah, I did do that. Or I did start the live broadcast even. Okay, we're just going to start with melee and these guys for now. Ooh, that hurt like a lot actually. Okay, oh boy. Oh, sweet. That was a good one. That was somewhat of a good one, I suppose you could say. Slowly but surely getting all their weak spots, like such, or as, or as such, as such would say. <laughs> so now I've got to be talking uh, to a uh, mother like yet you, again. Whatever the French cakes' name is. Us! The song cores are gone. What? That's impossible. Unless, unless to read took them. No, not to read. I don't trust that guy already based on his name Do alone. To read who names their child that? That's just such a weird thing to name them, to say the least. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Can't argue with that. Bring those Sonkors back and you'll get a share. Alright, okay, we have to do stuff which I, uh, once again, was not really paying much attention to. But let's at least gather some resources while we're at it, right? I mean, like, we took these machines down, so I think we deserve to be uh, claiming some stuff that we get for killing them. Although Ridgewood is not as satisfying as, say, a Watcher Lens. Oh, yeah. I'd have to ditch something. Okay, so crafting. What kind of uh, crafts can we do for uh, right now? Uh, modify... Um... Oh, yes please, that would be a useful modification! Um... Hmm... Handling... Fire coil... Don't think fire coil is going to be much use for this, it's mostly uh, this stuff which helps us out, like the tear coil. So I suppose we'll be equipping uh, that one. And then the last one will be the handling coil. Nice, that's looking good for that weapon right now. Let's see what kind of things... Uh, okay, that's modifications done. As is that. This one doesn't have one yet. So we'll give it this one right here. The very rare one. And then this one has both of them too. So sweet, there's crafting all dealt with and everything. Treasure boxes? Wait, can we actually... Oh! I never even knew we had these the whole time. Who knew? I didn't. <laughs> Clearly. So yeah, let's just be claiming all of these then. Never knew when it, I never know when it might come in handy, you see. Okay, so for now we'll leave things as is. Although I do I am curious about what this green thing is about. Oh, more modifications, nice. Although, for the moment being, we don't need no modifications for our weapons. So yeah, let's continue on in the direction we need to be going in. Which, uh, I just need to, to find a druid, so I suppose that's a focus job. 
Power sound. Oh, sparker. That works. Okay, so let's see what else we can do with this then. Uh, Rogue Watcher. Another Rogue Watcher. Um, hmm. Yeah, for the most part, this is stuff that isn't of too much use to us. Although, I do want to loot this uh, scrap right here, see if it's got anything of use. Oh, yeah, it had stuff of use, alright. And medical supplies, as always, I will quite happily be taking myself some of those. Okay, highlight the track. Well, maybe not then. But we will take medical supplies, even though we don't even need no medical supplies. Oh! This was the track we selected. I see now. So yeah, let's be heading in this general direction then. Seeing what we can find from this track. Man, the focus is useful, especially for focusing. So yeah, let's be weaving in and out of the trees, tracking through snow and dirt, although it's much more snow than anything else. Oh, I believe Hello, I found Daniel. you. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Oh wow, that was incredibly quick. That damage coil has worked out well. <laughs> and we leveled up through all of that. How fantastic. The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As they turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away. Yeah, yes. sins aren't burned away so easily, mate. And you stop my buck. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. <laughs> so true, so true. Well, might as well see what he has on him, right? <laughs> oh, and we also got some more uh, skill points. So, uh, three, in fact. Or three we have upon us. So let's learn you. And let's learn you. That'll do for now. Although we definitely need to start working on some uh, forager skills as well as a prowler and brave in fact prowler looks just about done unless there's like another section after this which would be cool but not something that i want to dive into right now okay modifications oh so this is how you drop these modifications then i see so at the moment our most valuable one is this the corruption re we uh, weave yeah corruption weave cool and there's also plenty of resources. But as for the moment being, we are going to continue back to um, the other direction, actually. Because I believe we still have to, uh, yeah, return to Marverid as uh, the name of the uh, quest log would say. Oh, more medicine pouch. I really need to increase that medicine pouch, which I think a bit, but I'm not sure if I can increase it more than what I already have. Because I believe a previous skill did that for us. But I will happily uh, take some of that turkey. I had turkey burgers the other day and they actually tasted really, really good. Turkey burgers are just as good as regular old burgers, you could say, from pigs or cows, you know, however you prefer your burgers. Pork burgers, beef burgers, chicken burgers even, they make good, for good burgers. But who would have known turkey uh, made good burgers? Most people wouldn't, because most people wouldn't be willing to try them. But I was willing to try them and it paid off You're because, back. as I said before, turkey burgers cores, are indeed delicious. Enjoyed? And also yeah, chunky, but mostly it. delicious. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. 
Okay, cool. So that side quest has been completed. A nice quick one for us to do whilst on the way to the main quest, which is all the way up there. Now, do I even have a mount left? I don't think I do. Uh, Bellowback, Strider. I believe we can uh, mount a Strider, but not a Bellowback. So let's just uh, continue on the path we're going. And yes, we do not. Uh, we do indeed not have a mount, so we're gonna have to deal with that, I suppose. Okay, so much about this working for me here. Oh! Didn't even need Rocaster after all that, what do you know? Oh, but that hurt like a lot actually. go the heavy hit got this guy at long last exactly what we needed and resources also exactly what we needed so we shall be acquiring those all the more but yes i believe the striders are coming up the striders are coming up indeed so hopefully we can grab ourselves some of those Oh wow, that's a whole load of bellow backs. At the moment, I do kind of want to stay out of the way of those. Are they bellow backs? Yes, they are bellow backs, just as I thought. At the moment, we're in plain sight, a sight which I do not want to be in, to say the least. Oh boy, that was one big explosion. And now we've got bigger explosions to worry about. Bigger is not always better. that thing taking down and out so let's be acquiring those to be uh saying for least and acquiring some other things along the way as well well just that apparently because i have no idea what happened to the other machines i literally just took down five seconds ago yes that's right i can't even recall five second uh, thingamadinguses so never mind about my memories or what i can say to that Oh boy, I ran right into that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Dang it. Not like I wanted to mount these guys or anything. And those guys are just running off right there. So I'm going to get out of here, to say the least, and just continue on down the path I need to be going. Because clearly, while Kaliba Sheeds is foot at all, it's not really for correct course to be taken when the quest uh, requires me to be moving on foot towards my necessarily a location which we're now like a thousand foot away so it's still going to be quite the journey to say the least but at least we can pick up plenty of medical supplies along the way and pretend I'm good at this game when I really aren't that's my favorite thing to do when playing games you know simulate uh, simulate the fact that I'm good at games when really I am not
Oh, hi, little fella. Oh man, we took that guy down quickly. Oh, but no, there's another guy. Why did it have to be another guy? Oh, never mind. Okay, nice. Oh wait, there's so many now all of a sudden. When when was there so many? Okay, metal shards and wire. Sweet, although wire is not the most useful of things available to us. Behind you! Haha, <laughs> sucker and you know it. Man, am I loving this bow! There you go. Sweet. Not too much already. Oh, so let's get out of here and continue on then, because you know, as Aloy said, we can't exactly acquire too much, more, uh, too many more resources from that. Despite the fact I just sold a bunch of resources, so we're going to move on, to say the least. Charges? Pretty sure charges are quite useful as well, just saying. Oh wait, no, charges are not the useful ones because we can't mount them I believe, so... Never mind, let's just keep on moving on, or continue to be continuing on, as I like to say most of the time. Over these machines, I guess I'll have to look in the cauldrons. Yeah, that's it. You come over here, you. You come over here, you. You come over here, you. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, these guys did no chance against me and my silent strike awesomeness. Because man, can I perform a silent strike when I want to? So at the moment we're pretty good at not being spotted, so let's continue on. No need to kill things when we don't need to, because like these machines are awesome, so why would I go out my way to kill every single one, right? As if they'd give me a reason. Like, not like they've tried to kill me again and again, time after time. You know, it's, it's nothing like that. No grudges can be held here against mother freaking robot dinosaurs, because they are mother freaking robot dinosaurs. Headshot! Well, not a headshot, but it is a wildlife kill at least. With some rich meat, get in there. Oh. But not some very good jumping, apparently. There we go, that's much better jumping now that I gained my momentum uh, from the rock and everything. Man, that is one good rock. The best rocks are the ones which you can gain momentum from, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Hopefully, one would. Oh! Here we go! Okay, sweet. Any other machines around? Fortunately not, so let's just continue gunning and running, running, gunning, running, gunning, continue, yeah. And right behind you, a Kerbaloe. Need 
Okay, sweet. Now that all of that stuff has been acquired, let's continue on. We can't be too far from our destination right now, right? No, we're not too far indeed. And this seems to be a little bit more of an uncharted part of the map. So I'm glad that we could, of course, be um, opening up new areas, such as a brand new charger site, for example. There we go, we got him. So yeah, time to finally make up some ground, right? Considering 50 minutes in and we're barely up on the main quest. But hey, we've completed like, plenty of side quests along the way. So I will take how much we've achieved so far. And I will take it no, with open arms. As everything else I take would be with. If that made any sort of sense, which it probably didn't. But as per usual, I'm not too worried about that. Oh wow, lots more people now apparently. There we go, got him. Human kill! Human kill! But where are all the other humans at? That's my question. Two years? Oh, that's a machine. So let's not worry about that because at the moment what we do need to worry about is them humans! Them darned humans! Man, humans are awful, awful people. If only this world was consistent of just robot machines, then humans would be so much more better off because they would be extinct. And trust me, the best thing for humankind right now is extinction. Mount contents this area. Okay, fair enough. Goodbye, Mount. Be careful, will ya? So yes, we've got to explore the Grave Horde. Oh! That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Can I examine you, or... Well, I can do that, at least. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the lens, blast out the families. Hoo ha hoo! Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> okay, so that's the same one as what we did before, so we're going to stop it. During victory, we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think Okay, that's the, uh... Operation Enduring Victory. Dredger? What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Don't think many things that occurred before this whole robot apocalypse thing turned out quite well, to be honest, Aloy. Oh, I died. I, I should have jumped, zip wired it, or whatnot. <laughs> Never mind, I'm kind of getting used to this whole failure thing and everything. But jeez, where is people's today? Is someone else more important than me streaming or something? Because that's probably the case. No, my kind of luck.
Okay, so now that I'm back alive again, let's just continue on with what it is we are to be doing. Operation Enduring Victory. Yeah, we could sit right yeah, down this. Yeah, that seems a much better way of getting a uh, getting through things. <laughs> much better way indeed. Well, it's better than dying at least, and that's what counts. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like, we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and... I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, see was on fire. That stuff was... The furnishings were metal. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. It was the metal, bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled the We fight on the beaches, eh? Churchill reference there. buildings on them, emp the grid. Standard operating procedure. <laughs> the last time I was in California, I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social light filter that was everywhere in the forties. We found another data point, apparently. Not sure whether this is the one we haven't listened to though yet, but we're going to uh, listen to it anyway by the sounds of it. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a bird to listen to this one. So, yeah, we have more uh, things to be explored around here. See what our focus can pick up and everything. Oh, here we go. We can continue down this thing now. Let's have more zip wire reaction. Boy, is that enjoyable. Red light. Guess that means no power. Well, let's get it some power then. Let's add some power from the finger dingus to the finger dingus to power from finger dingus using that power of finger dingus. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try oh, scanning see. objects in this area. These wires must run to the power source. Useful information. Okay, looks like we need to continue going down till we get to that useful information then. Once I find a way to get down. Safely, because I don't think that's too safe. <laughs> That worked out better than I was expecting, to be honest. <laughs> you got anything I, uh, anything else I can scan elsewhere? Just a power cable still. And some more hollow locks. So yeah, that definitely seems to be the one that we need to be going for, so... Well, there's a ladder right there, why don't I just use that to begin with? Don't kill me, please! Thank you! Oh, I see. So we've got to make all of the hollow locks look like that. So the first one needs to be uh, downwards. And then the next one after that needs to be downwards too. 
No, not that way, silly old Aloy. Yeah, this one. Okay, so the next one needs to be up and up. Oh wait, they already are up and up. Okay, fair enough then. Oh wait, no, is this based on what layer you're on? I don't even know, to be fair. I do not even know. Or is that the same with all of them? Sure, about to find out whenever we get to more uh, hollow locks, which some of which are definitely yeah right over there. That's a question mark right there. That's not much uh, of much use. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geothermal system reboot? Goes like this: bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poem free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Voice from nowhere. Now, can you defy my expectations by, I don't know, telling me what I'm supposed to be doing with this thing right here? So I got a consult, GT Tech, or something of that thing of whatever this thing of is talking about with the other thing of What if I continue with a pattern from before? So it was like that, yeah, or something like that, I don't know. I do not know this puzzle very well, to say the least. Not at all. At all. Okay, let's go back over here and see what would happen if I was to make all of those the same uh, direction. Yeah, I don't think that's quite how it works, unfortunately. So yeah, at the moment that's the same as that was before, so we're going to see what else we can do once we get back up here then. Because yes, like most things in this game, I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing right now. Ah, oh, ha, oh, I see. Accidentally went the wrong way there, but never mind, we'll get round to where we needed to be eventually, right? Wrong way! Or oh, wrong one, even more like. Okay, that one needed to be down, right? Not down, right, just down, right? <laughs> and then the last one was up, so that's basically all of those sorted. Nice. So yeah, where are the next uh, hollow locks done? So there's those ones, those ones down there, those ones down there. Right, so there's probably just those ones over there which I've screwed up somehow. Oof, that was too close right there. That could have turned out disastrous. But yeah, to be honest, those circles don't really mean much to me. Circles, what do you want from me? Please. Just tell me. Yeah, these circles are just very confusing, to be honest. I'm trying to make sense of circles right here, but... A circle has never confused me anymore until what it has right now. Hmm. I'm just going to take a wild guess here and hope that they all need to be down. 
Uh, no, no, that's not the case at all. In fact, that is quite far from the case, in fact. If the case could not get any farther away from that case. And now I'm getting a bit cranky about this case. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this holo-lock. I'm pretty confident in the other ones, but this one I just have no idea whatsoever. Does this mean anything to us? That's a power cable. Yeah, that means something to us, but those don't. Puzzles, man, why are these difficult <laughs> when they shouldn't be? Well, that's because they shouldn't be. I'm just making them difficult. Can I smash it or something? Will that actually help? <laughs> if in doubt, just smash it up. Unfortunately, no. Smashing does not help us in the slightest. I was kind of hoping that dealing with the other... Um, ones up there and everything would have helped us solve through that one but unfortunately not so that one is one we've done if i believe so correctly and then where's the other ones we've done or need to do at least Yeah, they're all power cables still, so they're not of too much use. No idea whether that's going to be of any use either, because I can't see it. At least not from down here. Let's go back up there, see what we can see from that. Back up, we go. And back over. No, 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 never mind. We're not going back over, apparently. Yeah, I'm not very good at running in straight lines, apparently. There you go, that's much better of me. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in that, to say the least. So it looks right to me, unless it's supposed to be the opposite order to that. Which, that I definitely would not know. So yeah, what's that? Because I really can't seem to get a good look at it. Unless I jump down to that ledge. There you go. And go over to it. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's useful. Yeah, that really, really helped me out. Restore power to the ancient door. Yeah, I'm not going to jump down that just yet. <laughs> Keyword here is just yet, though. I'm sure I'll find some sort of way to kill myself later on. But yeah, I have no idea what this uh, purple coding is meant to be, so unfortunately I can't seem to quite find my way around things here. So, what I suppose we could do here is try um, going for the opposite order with the other three. So that then these two were down and the other two were up. We could try that, I suppose. You know. Just got to experiment with my stupidity at hand, there was nothing else I could do. Three power lines. Oh! It was the other way around. <laughs> wow. Now I feel incredibly idiotic, like the idiot I can be sometimes. But hey, how was I supposed to know it was that way around, man? It's not entirely obvious, just saying. Or maybe I'm just one who's not entirely obvious. Okay, so this is the one that needs to go a few other way actually to that. <laughs> How silly of me. So that needs to be there. And that one needs to go, yes, that way. Then that needs to be that, I believe. And then the other one needs to be, wait on a sec. That one, that one, and this one would be the down one, right? Yeah, so that would be up, which is the other way, but never mind. And then this one would be down. That's Yay! Oh so now that we've got one last one uh, to be getting to, let's 
jump down, trying to be careful as well, mind you. So yeah, does that actually help us with anything now, or am I going to have to just guess with it? They really don't help us with anything I've learned. <laughs> really, really don't. Okay, fine. So we'll keep those as is. And we'll just put this in every position we can. Okay, so that didn't work out. Nothing is working out. Just, just why? This, are you sure it's not that? Because this way the reds make a full circle, just like those circles, which the circles just are not obvious. Like seriously, how am I supposed to find out anything from this? That's probably a really, really obvious method. I'm just not great at being able to notice it, apparently. Let's see if there's anything we can learn from these now that we've already completed these puzzles. Nope, apparently not, no. Nothing to be learned from them. Wanted to so ever. Like seriously, just expect us to guess because with them being four four combinations, that's like four times four times four times four different combinations that it could be. Which would take hours to try every last one of them. Yeah, I genuinely just got no idea then. Where is people in the stream who know stuff about the game when you need them? Like seriously, if someone was in the stream right now I actually knew this game, I could probably beat this puzzle in a snap thanks to relying on them, but nope, that's just not knows the case bros. But hey, they say you snooze and you lose, and I'm clearly losing right here in every single meaning of a word. So I suppose with no one watching, no one wants to watch, so I'm going to have to shorten the stream down. I really wanted to make this extended, guys. I really wanted to do a three-hour stream right here, but with no one in here to actually watch it, there's no point. I mean, like, all it would be is if people wanted to watch for three hours afterwards, but a three-hour-long video on a stream which you was no part of is just... It's no good, honestly, so I'm just going to, whenever I finish this puzzle, I'm going to end off the stream there, because unfortunately, when I have no audience, streaming just isn't worth it to me, and it's worse yet when you have incredibly demotivating things like this, which is so poorly designed, like, honestly, what what is this? How am I supposed to figure out a dime of information from this? Not even a dime. And worse yet, I can't save mid-puzzle, I can't just save it and come back to it later. I genuinely have no idea. Which is so triggering. It's stuff like this which makes me not makes me not want to play games like this. This is not fun at all. I mean like I'm sure puzzles like this could be fun if it had any indication and in what the French cakes I needed to do the whole time. But unfortunately, what is what could be the case is not the case. Okay, let's put them all back up again. So there's one combination. We're just going to slowly but surely go through all of the combinations. I know this is a very inefficient way of doing it, guys. But this is the only way I can think of actually doing it. So nope, it's not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, we already did that one, so it's not that one either. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, cool. So, is it going to be that one? Uh, no, apparently not. That one? Nope. This one? Nope. Okay, fine. Um,. That one, nope. That one, nope. Still nope. Bigger nope. 
No! Not that one, this one. No, not that one! Jeez! Space them out a bit more so I can actually press the one I'm meant to be pressing as well. Do that for me developers, will ya? Just develop a good portion to the game! I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this in the slightest. I went from really enjoying this to really not enjoying this. Oh, what am I supposed to be doing? Game, help me out here, please! I've never been more triggered by a puzzle in my entire life than this moment right here. I'm pretty sure every bad review this game has ever got is just from this one section, honestly. And I probably wouldn't be so hot and bothered right now if A, there was actually a person watching the stream, or B, if I wasn't so hot in my room because of the fact that for our heating works to where whenever you heat stuff downstairs where it's freezing, it always heats it up more up here than what it does down there. Which means that with it being heated downstairs, it's even warmer up here than it is down there. And it is so frustrating! This is unforgivable. This is just dumb. So dumb. Oh yeah, sure. I fucking meant to do that. <sighs> no! I did not mean to do that! For Pete's sake! <sighs> okay, that does it guys for the stream. Bye.